name's Michelle Gibbs from MG Art Class and in this series we're going to explore some colour mixing. So what I'm going to do is show you um, some basic colours that I use in my palette and then we're going to mix those with some earth tones um, and a ivory black just to kind of see what colours that we can come up with. So let's get going um, and I hope you enjoy the series. So cerulean blue is the first colour that we're going to look at. It's opaque so it doesn't work very well in glazes um, but it is very good in mixes so you can get some really beautiful greys. Um, if you're a landscape artist it's great for skies um, and it also creates some really lovely greens um, and you can make some really rich greys with it so it's a really really great colour to have in your palette. So let's have a look at what cerulean blue can do. Cerulean blue, really beautiful colour and we're going to mix it with some earth tones and I've also got a black and a white um, just to see kind of those really beautiful colours that you can create with it. So I've got an ivory black, I've got a burnt umber, I've got a burnt sienna, I've got a raw sienna, a yellow ochre and I've got a titanium white. So, so if we take our blue and if we start with the the ivory black. Now you don't want too much because obviously black can override a colour quite quickly although having said that the ivory black is quite transparent so it, it's not too bad. So we get this really beautiful blue grey and if we add a little bit of white to the mix we get this really nice cool cool blue grey using the ivory black so that's that's a really beautiful mix so if we try this with the burnt umber so we're going a little bit more on the green side with the burnt umber and you can see it's a little bit warmer than with the ivory black. Still quite cool, but a, a, bit, a little bit warmer than the ivory black. And again, if we add some white, you can sort of see that green, you can see that green coming out in that mix. So if we go on to the burnt sienna, now this is I really love this mix. Get this really, really nice grey, uh, green, very green grey. Probably a bit too much white there, but sort of bordering on a yellow. Try the raw sienna. Now look at this. This is this is lovely. So we're definitely going more towards the greens now that we're hitting the. Um, these are these are quite yellow. Obviously, the yellow ochre is yellow, but the uh, the raw sienna is, is very uh, quite yellow as well. So we're starting to get more towards the green green grey now. This is oh, that's lovely. Look at that beautiful and then finally we've got the yellow ochre so we take some of the yellow ochre quite a bit more towards the, um, the yellow side of the green. Again I probably added a bit too much white there but you get the general idea. So we're all see it. Um, so the cerulean blue is really a, a really great mixing colour. Um, it's very opaque so it's not very it's not used really for glazes because it's, it's got great coverage, but it works really well in mixes. And 
So if you can really experiment with uh, using the cerulean blue and creating these beautiful greys, um, it can go a really long way. So cerulean blue is definitely a colour um, that I would recommend adding to your palette. My name is Michelle Gibbs from MG Art Class. If you've got any questions, please let me know. But subscribe to my channel um, for more tips and techniques on using acrylic.